I've got some stuff marked all the way down that bank right there, five or six spots. I came in here a couple of days ago and what I was doing was shooting my side imaging on my hummingbird. Found a lot of brush piles along this bank line. And so yesterday evening I come in here, caught 25 fish off this one pile and uh, I'm gonna get on this pile right now. And what I'm doing is I'm vertical fishing, dropping it down and I use my rod for the depth finder, see? I got a 10 foot rod. I'm gonna put the jig right at the bottom. And uh, speaking of the jig, we're gonna use the sausage head with the slab slanger lure on there today. And it has a spear tail on it. And actually, the, when you're jigging it, see that right there? That tail, you cannot hold it still. Let's move out here and get on the brush. There we go. Come in here, boy. Yeah, man. We, whoop, 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 whoop. He fell off. Don't get away. Old black crappie right there. There's one right there. Come here, son. That's how it's done right there. We're talking. You know what I'm doing is I'm just vertical jigging. The crappie, uh, the jig fell, jig fell straight out of its mouth. What I'm doing is I just dropped it down to the top of the brush. Once you tick that brush, man, if there's a crappie in sight, they're gonna hit it. This little black crappie right here was sitting in about eight foot of water, uh, right on top of the brush. And so I ticked it with that slab slanger and that little puppy right there knocked the fire out of it. I'm gonna put him in the live well. You know, I would be out there on the main river right now fishing some little ditches that come off the main river, but they're drawing too much current. And so when they're drawing that current, it's good to go back into these tributaries, uh, small coves, uh, big coves, etc., to find your crappie. But once they stop pulling that current, I'll get back out on that river and start looking for those ditches that come off because a lot of fishermen like to try to hide their brush out there in those little channels that come off the main river. So actually right here, I'm tight lining with this long rod. And what you wanna do is just let it sink slowly, get it right on top of the brush. Sometimes I'll hold the line in my hand, but I like to put my finger right on it right there. I'm not sitting here going like this. I'm not moving it a lot. I just wanna go downward because an upward move, that jig really jumps out of the strike zone. So it's a downward pop every now and then if you want to put some action on that jig. You know, the equipment that you need to use when you're fishing brush piles, especially out here where there's no trees, no bushes, nothing in the way, I like to use a 10 or 11 foot rod. This is one of my new Wally Marshall Pro Series rods. It's an IM8 graphite rod, super fast tip with a lot of backbone. I've got it loaded up with some Mr. Crappie line. Uh, that'd be six pound and my, one of my spinning reels. But this cork handle is so sensitive I like to grab that line and actually hold it right against the cork because if the crappie pulls on it here, I can feel him with my finger or I can feel him right there on the cork. I got a fish. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I like it when you're sitting there showing people how to, how to hold your line and everything and all of a sudden you catch a nice little crappie. Oh yeah, you know, a lot of people come to me and ask me, Wally, why are you fishing with that high-vis line? Because I can see it. The fish don't care. I fished Niagara River, I fished in clear, gin clear water with this high-vis line. Guarantee it, all them crappie care about is what's on the end of the line. As a crappie fisherman, you need to use high-vis line because you can detect bites that you would never see or never feel if you couldn't see that line. See on the depth finder right there, we're coming back across it in the highest point of the pile. And usually the most active fish will be on top of the pile. There he is. That's a hog. That's a hog. That's a hog right there. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, old big white. Hey, that fish was laying right on top of the brush. Look right there. 
There's just mud right there on his belly. That fish right there, I got on top of this brush pile and I was just dragging it and bumping limbs, bumping limbs, bumping limbs, and all of a sudden, boom, he just socked it to it. Big old white crappie. You know, a while ago I was catching a lot of little black crappies. I've actually moved out here on another brush pile that's in about 13 foot of water, but it looks like a bus down there. I'm talking about a big brush pile. These crappie have actually, they must have just moved down inside the brush. It's been a harsh day, a lot of sun. And so they suck down into that brush. You got to get the jig in the brush. If you're getting hung up crappie fishing, you're in the right spot. Thanks everybody. I'm Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie. Nice little white crappie. Boy, that'll make a couple of good crappie sandwiches. Hey mama, get the grease hot. We coming to the house.